Okay, so this is what your basic spreadsheet will look like. Um, all I've done here so far is I've gone into the various cells and I've typed in this information. Uh, I've done nothing more than that. I've just clicked into each cell and typed. What I want to be able to do is I want to be able to put some formatting on to make it look more attractive and I want to be able to use some formulas to add some numbers up. Um, before we do that, I'll just look down the bottom here. These, these are called tabs and each of these tabs goes to a different worksheet. So if you remember looking at the instructions, a spreadsheet is made of lots of, of worksheets. There's three here and I've named these simply by double clicking on them and typing into this space. So I could change these by, by editing here if I chose to. I'm going to leave them as they are for the moment. And we're going to have a look at some of the formatting. So first of all, I'm going to highlight along the top here where all my headings are. And I'm going to make my headings bold. And I'm going to center them. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the whole of this area. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to basically add a border. And I'm going to go for the one called All Borders. That puts these lines in to separate things out. OK, now at the moment these are just what are called general um, cell format types. I want to make these into currency because that's what they actually are. So I'm going to highlight all of these and I'm going to highlight this end column at the same time as well. While I've got that all selected, I'm going to right mouse click and I'm going to choose Format Cells. And I get this little dialog box that pops up. Now you can see at the moment the category selected is General. I'm going to go for Currency. I'm going to choose two decimal places and I'm going to make sure that I've got the dollar symbol. Now there's lots of different currencies here uh, but this is the one I want to use and it gives me a sample there of what it'll look like. So the 45 now looks like $45.00. Uh, so I'm going to say OK to that and I'll see that now that's connected and converted and changed all these formats into currency. The last thing I need to do, or the two last things I need to do, is add some colour and put some formulas in. So I'll do the formulas first. I'm going to click into this one and because all I want to do is add up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and put it into this column. I'm going to go for something called Auto Sum. Now Auto Sum on mine, uh, if I can find it. Okay, Auto Sum is this little one over here that looks like a, a backward letter Z. I'm going to click on that one when I'm in this um, cell. So I'm going to come into here, click this one, and it's going to guess for me. Now at this time it actually guesses correctly. It is highlighting the ones that I wanted. If for instance I wanted it to add up something differently, I could just drag the area I wanted. So if I wanted to add up these numbers here instead, I could do that. I'm going to go back to where I was. I'm going to drag across here and I'm going to say, yeah, that's what I want. So I'm just going to press enter. And now you'll see that that's automatically come across here and it's done that um, sum for me. It's added them up. Now this is something that's really cool. Watch what happens here. If I change this 54 to 60, watch what happens to the 214 when I press enter. Can you see it changed that as well? This is called modeling. So this is live. It happens all the time. If I make any changes to any of my numbers, my um, auto sum formula automatically changes. So I can now, I could come along here and I could do auto sum in this one, and this one, and this one, and so on. But what I can do, which is quite cool, if I click into this one where I've got an auto sum, and I grab the corner, hold down and drag down, it puts the formula into each one. And if you look in my cell address up here, that says C3, G3, C4, G4, and so on. It automatically knows as I drag the formula down. And that formula now applies to that line that's opposite it, not rather than just the same one. OK, the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight along here, and I'm just going to choose a fill color, maybe a yellow or something, just to make it look more interesting. And there I've got my first simple spreadsheet.